The Tom's Basement Show 2.0 mod just dropped on Friday Night Funkin', and in this video, I want to give you the full backstory for Tom's Basement, but also each of the other versions of Tom and Jerry that pop up in this mod as well. Let's start off by talking about the Alien Body Slammer, which takes on the appearance of Tom first in this mod. Now, some of you may actually remember the Alien Body Slammer because he actually appeared in the Tom and Jerry Tales show, specifically episode 5, season 2, which is called Invasion of the Body Slammers. In the show, we actually get to see the Body Slammer spaceship fall from the sky, and it looked like an actual meteorite, but when it opens up, you actually get to see all the technology within. This meteorite lands right into Tom's front yard, and this is when Jerry actually finds it and goes and investigates. The thing that comes out of this spaceship is this creepy green glob that kind of looks like flubber, but it can obviously expand its body to be extremely long. Now, funny enough, in the actual original cartoon, the body slammer takes on the form of Jerry first, and then later on, it takes on the form of Tom. The scary thing about the body slammer, though, is that it has the ability to transform into about anything that it wants, and it's also extremely powerful. We get to see the way that it completely dominates time in the animation, and it can also change its form at will, and it seems that it can change into anything that it has seen in the past. I say this because in the cartoon, we actually see it turn its arm into an octopus tentacle, which we also see in the Friday Night Funk mod when Tom literally sprouts these tendrils out of his own body. A fun fact for my people who have actually read or seen the Tom's Basement creepypasta, the face that Jerry makes, that very creepy large smile face, is actually from the episode of The Body Slammer. The face that Jerry makes right here and later on the face that Tom makes are what inspired the Tom's Basement creepy faces. Now some of you may be wondering how Boyfriend and Girlfriend ended up having to face off against the Body Slammer and it actually goes like this. At the end of the actual episode, Tom and Jerry escape the Body Slammer by jumping into his spaceship and blasting off into space. The free play song actually takes place right after Tom and Jerry get away from the Body Slammer. Now that Tom and Jerry are out of his hair, the Body Slammer is on the lookout for food and that's when it actually runs into Boyfriend. And in typical boyfriend fashion, he literally breaks into the living room of the house and the alien is of course immediately hostile to boyfriend just like it was hostile to Tom. But of course since it's boyfriend, he convinces the alien to have a rap battle just like he does with every other enemy that he fights for some reason. Another fun fact here is that even though the body slammer only transforms into Jerry and Tom in this mod, it can technically transform into boyfriend or girlfriend if it really wanted to mess with them. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the backstory of the creepypasta that influenced this whole mod. Now the backstory for this one is pretty dark, so if you're a Tom and Jerry fan, this one might not sit right with your spirit. This creepypasta starts off by giving us the backstory of the 13 Tom and Jerry shorts animators whose name happened to be Gene Dotch. This man was infamous for the poor quality and disturbing nature of his Tom and Jerry animations. They also had badly done sound effects, animations, and more realistic violence. It was rumored that Gene didn't like the concept behind his Tom and Jerry shorts, but he was being pressured into making them, and he wanted the people who watched them to actually feel bad for liking this concept. Now that we have that background knowledge, we can dive into the actual creepypasta proper, and it starts like this. There was a 16 year old boy walking home when he tripped over something. Looking down, he noticed that it was a videotape. This tape had the name Tom's Basement written on it. Now the first thing that the young man noticed when he actually played the tape is that it took place in a typical Tom and Jerry home. The one thing that was very different was that Tom's owner was this fat, very angry, violent man. We get to see an example of this when Tom is sleeping next to the basement door and the man literally walks over and stomps on his tail causing an excruciating amount of pain to Tom. The owner then yells at Tom to never go down into the basement. Tom is clearly terrified at this point and he runs away to another room. Next we see Jerry stick his head out of his mouse hole, but he doesn't look like the normal Jerry. He looks like nightmare fuel or at least a evil version of Jerry. And he gets this evil look on his face and he follows Tom into the next room. Now the next few moments are normal Tom and Jerry shenanigans, but what Tom doesn't realize is that Jerry is actually tricking him into chasing him towards the basement door. But each time Tom gets close to the basement door, his owner catches him and inflicts some type of pain onto him. And unlike in a regular cartoon, these injuries don't go away, but they stay with him throughout the whole episode. Now this happens three times, and each time Tom is more bruised and he ends up limping, looking like something is broken. After this, Tom literally starts to beg Jerry not to bother him anymore, but he's not really talking, he's just crying and mumbling, but you can understand what he's trying to convey through his body language. Jerry simply laughs at him and pushes him back to the basement door. The owner catches Tom again, but this time he goes ballistic and he's really gonna hurt Tom. And it seems like Jerry finally takes some pity on Tom because he actually stabs the owner at this part. And this is where Tom and Jerry actually work together to take the owner's limp body down into the basement. Now this is where the plot twist happens. 
The owner wasn't protective of the basement for no reason. The basement is actually filled with dozens of bodies and various forms of decay. Tom and Jerry shake hands and it seems like they've triumphed over the serial killer. But Jerry gets an evil look on his face again and stabs Tom, unaliving him and throwing him on the pile with the other bodies. The creepypasta ends with Jerry putting up a for sale sign on the yard of the house. Now that you know the creepypasta story, you can understand why Jerry actually has a knife in this mod. And this also explains why boyfriend and girlfriend are actually in the house. It seems that Nisma boyfriend and girlfriend are actually looking to buy their own home together. And when they see the for sale sign, of course they go to the open house to actually check the place out. This is where they actually go into the basement and they find Tom's body and that's when Jerry pops out. And of course, boyfriend has to rap battle against him in order to get out of there with their lives. The next character that I want to talk about in the mod is going to be Depressed Tom. And this one you may not be familiar with because he's from a very, very old animation from like 1956 called Blue Cat Blues. Now in the original episode, we actually do get to see Tom sitting on the train tracks and he's super depressed and he's just waiting for the oncoming train to come and he doesn't plan to get off the tracks if you get what I'm putting down. Now during this time, something interesting is happening and that's that Jerry is actually kind of narrating what's going on here. And if you're a Tom and Jerry fan, you'll know why this is interesting because usually those two don't talk at all. Now what we find out is, is that Tom is actually depressed because he fell in love with a beautiful white cat. Some of you may be familiar with her because she popped up in quite a few Tom and Jerry episodes back in the day. Now at first she seemed to return his feelings, meaning that she acted like she loved him, but in actuality she was just manipulating him because he was buying her stuff and she was using him and she ended up leaving him for another cat named butch and in this variation butch is actually a really really rich so in actuality she didn't really love tom she was simply a gold digger a sad part here is that jerry kind of saw this from the jump and he told tom about this but tom didn't want to listen to him and even after tom finds out that this cat is only with him for his money he still tries to get her back by buying her a bunch of stuff but of course since tom is just a regular cat and butch in this universe is rich he can't compete right it would be like you buying somebody a Honda and then somebody else comes with a Ferrari. You have no chance, especially when that person only wants you for money and things that you can buy them. In the actual show, it would show like Tom bringing her flowers and then Butch would come with like a whole bouquet or Tom giving her perfume and then Butch coming with like a whole tanker truck full of perfume, meaning that he just simply couldn't compete at all. And what I really find sad here is that Tom basically gives up his whole life savings for somebody who just doesn't want him. He buys her a diamond ring and of course, as always, he cannot compete with Butch. In the actual show, we see that Tom turns to drinking, but instead of alcohol, it's milk. And during this time, Jerry is trying his best to get Tom out of his slump, but he's not really able to do so. And personally, I think the breaking point for Tom here is when he actually sees Butch and the white cat drive by in a limousine that has a just married sign on the back. Now, I think the saddest part about this animation, though, is that towards the end, Jerry actually is kissing a picture of his girlfriend that he has. And then he sees her drive by with another mouse and a just married sign on the back of their tiny car. Now, Jerry is also devastated at this point. So he goes to the train track with Tom and they both sit there and wait for the train. Definitely a dark Tom and Jerry animation. The next version of Tom and Jerry that we see in this mod are actually Pipify Tom and Jerry, and it should be no surprise to anybody that these characters actually ended up becoming victims of the corruption. I've covered many Pippi characters and a lot of characters who are much stronger and more clever than Tom and Jerry have been caught by the corruption. And also, if you remember in the original Pippi trailer, a lot of the older cartoons were the first ones to be corrupted, so it kind of makes sense that these two would fall. The next character may be one that you're not as familiar with, and this character is called Lightning. Now, Lightning is interesting because he's from an episode of Tom and Jerry where basically Jerry is working with this mad scientist and they work together to create a cat that basically has the soul of a dog. Or I guess to put more specifically, they put the soul of a dog into a very timid cat. Something I find very interesting here is that now this cat dog is very loyal to Jerry and of course the scientist that created him. So when Tom tries to come into the castle and get Jerry, Lightning actually defends Tom. A little fun fact here is that some people say that the dog's soul that actually got transferred into Lightning is that of Spike, which also pops up in this mod. The next character we see in the mod is actually Mouse Tails Jerry, and if the name doesn't give it away enough, this is basically a version of Jerry that comes from the Undertale universe. And basically Undertale's characters are recreated in a version of Tom and Jerry characters. And I think it's a dead giveaway that Jerry actually takes the place of Sans. We can kind of tell by the jacket and the fact that his eye glows that lavender color. And if we're being honest, he has all 
all the mannerisms of San. It's super obvious. The next character I want to talk about here is going to be Famished or aka Famish Butch. And if you can't tell just by the artwork, this character is heavily influenced by Starved Eggman. We can also tell this because in the background, we can see people have basically been half eaten, just like how Starved Eggman did a lot of his characters. And if you want to know the full backstory of Starved Eggman, I'll put the card up in the right corner now. Next in the mod, we have Warner Bloody Tom and Spike. And these characters basically come from an animated series called WB Splatter or Warner Bloody Splatter, which is basically a very bloody version of Tom and Jerry cartoons brutally harming each other. And this can be with different weapons or with just the tools that they have like fangs or claws. And the creepy part here is that some people say that they actually made these type of edits just to traumatize young viewers, which is just absolutely messed up. The next character that we have on our list is gonna be Meme Mouse. And this character is actually a joke version of Jerry that is a reference to various internet memes. Some of these memes include, I know who ate the cheese, cheeseburger, and Jerry crying with the puppy eyes. And I'll show you some pictures here. And a fun fact here is that Mean Mouse's voice actually comes from the Chinese server of the Tom and Jerry mobile game. Next up, we have a character named Tuffy, and this character is supposed to be the son of Jerry, and he's actually a minor character in the Tom and Jerry shows. At first, I thought he was supposed to be the D-side version of Jerry because I saw D-side boyfriend and D-side girlfriend there, but he's actually his own character. Now, those of you who have grown up watching Tom and Jerry, you probably know that Tuffy has been around for a very long time and have popped up in several episodes of Tom and Jerry. Sometimes he's portrayed as being like a baby. You even see him in a diaper. Other times he's portrayed as being like a very young mouse, but definitely not a baby. And it's always kind of hard to tell how Tuffy and Jerry are actually related. Sometimes it seems like Jerry adopted him. Other times it seems like he's Jerry's little brother. And sometimes it seems like he's Jerry's biological son. I don't think the creators actually ever came out and just definitively said how they're related. And I think they kind of want to keep it like that because Tuffy isn't necessarily a main character in the show. Another fun fact that some of you may remember about Tuffy too is that he was one of the few characters in Tom and Jerry that would actually speak. And normally when he would speak, it would be in French. The last character that we have in the free play mode is actually called Grunt Tom. And I actually don't think there's much backstory for this character. I simply think the developers probably have some respect for the Madness Combat series, so they wanted to put a little homage to the grunts into their actual mod. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe to Daddy Become a member of the Ors Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.